So, as you all know, we've got a very, very special guest with us today. And I think all of you know him, don't you? Put your hand up if you worked with David Pickering last year, wasn't it? It was last year. So, wonder, just because we've got um, an hour, and I don't want to run out of time with you, David, whether we should just crack on straight away, if I could just hand it over to you. Maybe yeah, that, that would be great. Yeah. Thank you so much. And, and do, do, do chip in any time, Amy, and, and if, if, if you think, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I need to be clearer. But um, yeah, that, I'll, let's crack on, because we've got, we've got exciting things to, to, to get through, because I thought, um, as you did such wonderful work at the Royal Opera House, and we did a ballet, inspired by Gloria, that we should we should look at a bit more ballet repertoire. Um, and one of the most famous ballets, in fact, it was it was the last ballet that the Royal Ballet were performing before this whole lockdown thing started, was Swan Lake. And it's one of the most famous ballets probably in the world. As, I mean, you've probably heard of Swan Lake. But I think it's a great ballet and the music is incredible. So I thought we, would, we should do a, um, a, a bit of a, a ballet warm up. We're going to do a bit of bar work, as all ballet dancers do. And then we should crack on into the centre and, and start learning our own version of Swan Lake. But we haven't got very long, so should we make a start? Is that, is that good? Yeah, that's all right. And what I might do is I might keep coming in and doing things like this so you can see my head and my arms a bit, a bit closer. Yeah, that's so great. what we're going to do is we're going to think about our ballet posture. Do you remember it started back in the royal courts in Paris, um, King, King Louis XIV? So can we all stretch up really tall, really stretch, and imagine you're putting a crown on your head and you're very proud of your crown. And then leave your proud posture there with, the, with that invisible crown on your head. Okay, keep that tall posture. Place your hands on, on a chair or on the bar or whatever you're, you're, you're close to. And then I want you to take a look, turning your head, to one side and then bring it back to facing and then turn it the other side and then bring to facing. We'll do that again. Turn your head and turn your head. And then keeping your tall posture, I want you to take both your arms as if they're like giant swan wings up the side of your body, all the way up until they almost touch with the backs of your hands together and make this lovely sort of turned in arm shape like a swan's wings high bring them back down pushing through the air take the bar and then rise onto the tips of your toes maybe test your balance lower your heels and then we'll start again looking one way to front look the other to front looking and looking and then again repeat the arms Wings up the side, strong, powerful wings. Find that high position. Wings coming down, taking your chair or your bar, and then rising up onto your tiptoes, onto your dimmy point. Have a little balance, lower the heels. We're gonna do that four times through. Should we do that with our feet in first position? Can you remember first position? So your heels are touching, and you've got like a slice of pizza in between uh, your, your, your feet. Um, and Simon, are you all right to, to play some accompaniment for that? So it's just, just yeah, nice sure. to say, look right, look front, look left, or whichever way. So about that kind of face. That would be great. Thank you so much. So put your crowns on everybody, nice and tall. Raise them on your head. Standing nice and tall. Feeting first. Can we have a little introduction? Thank you, Simon. Brilliant. Ready, guys? So one, two, Three and uh, four and arms up the side, tall wings. And rise and balance. And one more time. Look at one way and look. Tall, good. And good. Strong wings. And down. Rise and balance. Rise. Test your balance. One more time. Looking one way. Front. And good. And good. Powerful wings. All the way up, 
find that shape and rise onto your toes good last time looking warm and look Again, powerful wings. And take a rise in balance. Can you hold your balance on your tiptoes, on your demi point? Have a little moment. Good balancing, everyone. Good, Owen. Lovely, Ella. And lowering your heels carefully. Good, Amy. Wonderful. So, this is the first position, okay? This is our swan. I'm going to go back a bit so you can see me. This is our swan position. I'd like you to remember that for later. We might do it together at the bar. So it's like fifth position of the arms. You find fifth position. It's a circle frame in your face, but then you just turn your wrists the wrong way around like wings. So that when you come up with your wing action, you can just keep them there and there they are. Fifth position with wing hands, isn't that nice? And remember swans are really massive birds. They've got, they don't fly like this. They fly like this, oh, really strong. Shall we do that one more time? Let's just do it twice through so we could just practice that wing arm one last time. And this time, when you lift your wings, imagine something lifting from underneath your arms, like the air is lifting them and pushing them up and you're pushing the air down so you get some real wing quality in the movement. Let's try that one more time. Let's stretch up in the air, crowns on, lift it up, get your tall posture, long backs, Feet in first position, really think about that wing shape. One more time, thank you for the introduction, Simon. Brilliant, ready guys? So one, two, and uh, three, and uh, four, and uh, And here's your wing, powerful wings. Lift from under the arms and push through the air. And rise up and balance on your demi point. Lower the heels. And One more time. Powerful wings. Rising up. Find your balance. And you find your balance on demi point. Quick look at your balance. Wonderful, good. Is that Joe? Joe, good balancing, Joe. Excellent. Great outfit, Jack. I'm loving your outfit. And lowering your heels. Jack good. always delivers with an outfit. <laughs> Is that <laughs> Robert waving? Yes. <laughs> Hi, Robert. I could just see the top of your head. It's lovely to see you. Right, so. That wing position, please don't forget it. We're going to need it later for our dance, okay? Hi, Annie. I can see Annie there. All these lovely faces. So, um, can anyone remember the name of the step when you, when you sort of stretch your feet? This is my feet now. I'm using my hands. When you stretch your feet to make them pointed, it's got a name. It's the French word for stretch. Can you remember that word? Oh. It's... It's me, um, David. It's actually a conjuring. Wow. Was that Hannah? Well done. Well remembered, Hannah. It's actually a tondu. Uh, that was Daisy, sorry. Oh, that was Daisy. Sorry, I couldn't see who that was. Oh, there you are, Daisy. Hi there. I was there as well. <laughs> so, Batman tondu. So, you have to imagine that your feet are almost polishing the floor as you stretch them out. So let's see if I can do this. I don't know if my... my Screen can show you, no, and uh, it probably can't. So, can you see my feet? Yep. So, as they slide, you, you keep them sliding the point, then sharpen them to a really good point, and then slide them back each time. Let's try it on the other foot. Slide and point, slide and close. So, we're going to do two back montandus on one leg. You can choose which one first. One back montandu, back to first position. Two back montandus, back to first position. And then we're going to learn a new arm position because we've got our swan arm learned. Here's our next position that we're going to be using later for our dance. So we've done our two back montandus with our feet. 
We're going to find our wing position that we've just learned, but then we're going to lean over one way and make our, the palms of our hands face down towards the floor and look over as if you're looking in the lake and seeing your reflection. And then you're going to come back with your body and open the arms and bring the wings back down again. Then we're going to repeat the back montandis with the other leg. Then two back montandis with the other leg. Two of those. And then we'll repeat the arm position, but go the other way. So go in the same way that your foot is pointing. Lean over, hands facing down. Look at your reflection in the lake. Bring yourself back up and then float the arms down. Fantastic. Right, I'm looking at you all now. Can you show me that shape that you're going to find? So find that wing and lean over with your body. Good, Robert. Good. Very nice. So, Annie, that's a gorgeous position. Just for all of you as well as Annie, as you lean over, don't be afraid to look away from the screen and look down towards the floor as if it's the lake and see your reflection in the water and then come back up. That's it, Daisy. Lovely, Annie. Good. Fantastic. So, have we got that shape? So, remember the exercise two back montagnes with one leg. Find that shape on the same side and then repeat two back montagnes with the other leg and then do the shape leaning the other way. And that's our second shape to learn. Okay, is that good? Brilliant. Fantastic. Okay. So, similar tempo, uh, Simon. Yeah, hmm? maybe a similar tempo would be spot on. I'm going to move my bar away because I think, I think I'm going to hold my posture by myself. Yeah, let's start by stretching up, finding our tall crown posture, taking the bar, feet in first position, ready for your back montages. Thank you, Simon. Brilliant. Ready, guys? So one, two, and uh, three, and uh, four, and... Lovely positions. Good, Robert. Fantastic. So, have we got that shape? Should we give that shape a name? So, should we call this one our wing, our wing shape? What should we call this one? Any ideas? I'm thinking about an outward shape. A what shape, Owen? An outward shape. An outward shape. No, no, That's it, a no, it's like I'm standing to the side going like that, that way. Um, I'd rather call it um, where the swimming pool was. Should we call it a swimming pool shape then? Because I would, I would like you to find your reflection in the pool. So let's oh, call it the David. swimming pool shape. Fantastic. So we've got our wing. Hey, it's David. Yeah. Um, it's from Hannah Dempsey here. Hi there, um, Hannah. I've got one question and, and that's it. Um, I just want to say, um, 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 how do you do that, actually? Because I, I can't really do it. That's fine. Okay. But thank you for asking, Hannah. So, so what you have to do, can you see how my arms in fifth position are, are kind of surrounding my head? So you need to turn one of them the other way around so that the, the, the palms of your hands are facing the floor. That's good. That's good, Hannah. Now with your body, lean over. And then look down to the floor, into the swimming pool, as Owen has called it. And then come back up and then just burst your arms open, if you like, to do our wings coming down. Do you want to try that on the other side, Hannah? So if you go the other way, find that fifth position, turn the, both palms down towards the floor and then lean over. And look at your reflection in the swimming pool for Owen. Come back 
throw your arms open and down. Shall we try that one more time? So we've got that shape really nailed. So this is, yeah, we've got the thumbs up from Robert. That's great. We can go ahead. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep closer. I'm going to imagine, I'm gonna watch your tondies. You're imagining that I'm doing them, but I'm actually watching you and doing them myself in my head. So find your tall posture, crowns on, hands on the bar or not on the bar if you don't need one. Feet in the first position. Let's find that swimming pool reflection shape. Here we go. Thank you, Simon, for our introduction. Cool. So one, two, and uh, three, and uh, so back on to you. One foot stretch. Close. Stretch. Now find that swimming pool shape. One. Leaning over. Open. And other leg. Two tondus. Stretch. Close. Stretch. Good. And find the arm up. Lean over. Good. One more time. Stretch your feet. Close. And feet. And close. And arms up. Look at your reflection. Over. Last time. And feet. Fondu. Stretching. Good. And arms up. Over. Fantastic. Good. Thank you. Let's move on in our bar. In fact, let's just give our hands a little bit of a shake. Just to give them a bit of a rub. Give one arm a bit of a rub. On the other arm. Maybe give your legs a bit of a rub. Maybe give them a bit of a pat. Get them nice and warm. And the other one. Maybe back of your neck. Wake up all those muscles because it's quite cold outside, isn't it? Give them one more shake. And then let's move on. Who can remember what a retire passe is? It's got two names this step. It's either retire or passe or retire passe. So that's three names. Can you remember we did this at, at, um, at the Opera House? I can see. Oh, is that Ruth? Oh, Laura's got it. Laura's. Is it on? Oh, oh, you remember that? Oh, oh. Wonderful. So remember, you have to draw a line with the tip of your toe at the side of your leg and your knee goes to the side. So you've got this amazing triangle shape here and then draw it down again. You're going to do two of those with the same leg. But on the second one, you're going to extend your knee out to the back and make a long reaching shape with your leg, lowering it down to close. And then do the same with the other leg. So for the retiring up, and down and holding your bar, then up, extend your leg out, lower it down to the floor. You remember doing that? Do you want to have a little practice? So that's right. Excellent. Lauren, fantastic. Do you want to try, Jack, have you got something to hold on to? Or do you not need it? You're going to, use, oh, you've got something. Fantastic. So we do one slow, this is, this is my leg. One slow retire passe with your leg, coming back down again to first position with your feet. And then the second one, extend your leg to a long straight pointed shape at the back, lower it down to the floor and bring it to closed to first position. Let's do that four times through. Are we clear? Hey, Daisy, I know that, um, I assume it's because of your back injury. Is that why you're feeling? Um, um, yes, yeah. So I'm sure that David wouldn't mind you doing it to the side, like we normally adapt things in class. Absolutely. Oh, in okay. fact, that's a very good point because what we're going to do later, Daisy, is yeah. th this This is to, to work on your technique, learning about the, the retiree, but it's actually thinking about extension and making a long line. So I don't mind if you do it to the side, to the front, to the back. All I want you to think about is with your leg, it's making a long straight line. And if you want to add an arm, and a straight arm to it, that's what we're going to need. Because in, in our dance later, we're going to look at extending shapes. So Daisy, you do them to the side, that's perfect. Or anyone else, do it to the yeah. front or side or back. Thank you, that's great. Thanks, Daisy. Thank you. So Simon, this this will be a bit slower. This is a bit more sort of retire up, down. No, up and up and down and down. 
and up extend to the back lower to the floor does that make sense yeah 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 that's all good Wonderful. thanks Simon. <laughs> Awesome. Hold the bar here. Cool. Okay, thanks for the introduction. So one and two and three and four and one. And Good, lovely. And other leg. And extend. Other leg, and retiring. And good. Lovely. Fantastic. So Good, Owen. Wow, good. that was an arabesque. Fantastic. So what I'd like to do now is I'd like you to just give your feet a bit of a shake. We, had, we, we just gave our bodies a little bit of a rub and a shake. Give your feet a really good shake. Don't forget to do both. Just point them again just to check that you can remember how to stretch your feet because we'll need to do that later. And we're going to start to work on our, our Swan Lake um, dance. And we're going to start by using these shapes we've just learned. So we don't need to use our bars anymore. You can keep them close in case you, you really feel you need them to just to be there. But we're going to try and put these together in what's called an adage. Now, adagio means slow music. And in ballet, adage is slow dance. And the thing that I really want you to really focus on is the quality of the movement. So the swan is a very graceful bird. When it moves, it doesn't move sharply. It moves with power and real grace. And they always have very long, tall body and posture and necks. So they don't sort of slouch. Yes, Hannah. And there's real quality and power through that movement. Fantastic. So we're gonna start our dance, standing with our feet in first. And we're gonna start by doing our first swan shape. So it's good to go all the way up I'm just going to find our swan wrists. Direct from that swan wrist shape, you're going to lean your body over and find Owen's swimming pool shape. This is a new one. Are we ready for this? Come back up and make one arm go round in a circle like the hands of a clock. Leave the other one where it is, all the way around, and join it so it crosses your body. Yes, Jack. And then throw some jewels or throw some feathers into the air and look into the air and watch them float down. And then bring your arms back down. So bravo. Should we try that one more time? So we start by going wings up the side, find your wing shape. Lean your body over, find Owen's swimming pool, swimming pool shape. Hands of a clock. Tick, 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 one arm, one arm, one arm, tick, tick, all the way over. When you find this cross shape, have a little listen with your ear to your wing. So you can almost like, like you're lying, yes, Jack, so you're like you're lying on your wing before you throw your feathers in the air and look up in the air and watch them float back down. Should we just try that with music a couple of times in sequence? So we have our wings into swimming pool, into clock hand, listen to your wings, throw your feathers in the air and down. Let's just do that a few times through together. Um, Simon, just something, yeah, sort of steady and, and, and rhythmic so we can, we can do it as a loop. Cool. That'd be yeah. great, thank you. So feet in first, everyone, crowns on, standing tall. Here we go. There you go, uh, so uh, one, two, three and uh, four. All right, your high position. Root full position. Look over. Hands on the clock. Going round. Listen to your wings. Throw the feathers in the air. Let's 
do the whole thing one more time. Wings. Find that high shape. Leaning your body over. Look into the reflection of the swimming pool. Come back up. Hand of a clock. All the way around. Crossing your body. Listen to your wing. And throw your feathers in the air. One more time. Wings at the side. And over. Look at the cerebral reflection. Hands of the clock. Listen to your wing. And throw your feathers in the air. Beautiful. Thank you, Simon. I can see, I'm really trying to focus on everybody. Amy, Ella, how, how are they doing? And it looks, I can see, it looks look, looking pretty good. Any feedback, anything that, that, that we need to work on? Thanks. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I wonder if we could concentrate on eking out each moment. So there's loads of like fluidity and like a continuous gorgeous movement, but it looks really, really nice. I'm just taking a few snapshots as well. And I have to say, the positions are beautiful. Fantastic. Well, why don't we try that one more time and let's do what Amy suggested because as, as I mentioned earlier, it's, 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 it's good to, to, we need to learn that the move, but actually then we need to think about how we're doing them and why we're doing them. So remember what your character is. You are, what is your character? So in Swan Lake, the prince is hunting in the woods and he meets this beautiful swan queen. She is actually wearing a crown because she's the queen of the swans and she moves in the most incredible way because she's like, an, she's like a, a human embodiment of a swan, like a giant swan. Yes, Owen, exactly. So let's do it one more time and let's think what Amy just said about that quality of movement, almost as if you're pushing through liquid or water so that it doesn't just move in, in, in sharp ways. It's really smooth and fluid. Every shape you make is really important. Okay, let's try that one more time and then we'll move on. We've got a whole dance to get through. Lots to do. Same te tempo would be great, Simon. Thank you for that. I'm going to stay closer so I can see you. Imagine I'm standing up. I'm actually on my knees, but um, just imagine I'm standing very tall in first position. Arms low and bravo. Good. Thank you, Simon, for the introduction. Are you ready, guys? So one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four. In that wing shape and leaning over look at your reflection in the water circling hands at the clock and listen to your wings throw your feathers in the air one more time if you want you can always lean the other way this time and do the hands of the clock with the other arm if you like. Listening to your wing, lying on your wings. And throw your feathers in the air. Beautiful, perfect, that's gorgeous. We have a corps de ballet of swans, a whole flock of swans there. Wonderful, really, really great, great dancing there. So this is where we're gonna try and remember our extended shape that we just did at the bar. Now we did it from a retiré passé with a leg off the ground. You don't need to have it off the ground because we're gonna do a couple of different shapes. Who can think of an extended shape that uses an arm and a leg or through your body? Show me now. Something that goes into an extension, maybe something, something like this or like that. Or it could be to a low shape. Or it could be on the floor and stretching. But make sure that something extends to a long, long sort of, stretched out pointed shape good owen lovely annie wow good is that hannah i can see you yes it is very very nice good daisy well done well caught if you're going to go for a balance make sure you've got enough space around you I don't need to hit yourself on a wall or a, a chair or use a chair if you like good laura lovely okay so after we've done our first wing shape and then we look it over into the swimming pool, throw in. We do hands of a clock, 
listen to your wing, throw the feathers in the air. And then after throwing your feathers in the air, find your extended shape, whichever shape that you would like to do. Remember what you're going to do. Find that extended shape. And then come back to start the whole sequence one more time. So we do arm wings. You can go the other way if you like. Look at the swimming pool. Arm circle. Hands of a clock. Listen to your wing. Throw your feathers in the air. And now do a different extended shape. Okay, so try a different shape now, but make sure something is extending. So remember what we practiced at the bar with our extended leg? Try a different shape. If you did a low shape the first time, maybe try a high one the next time. Or if you did a curvy shape into an extension on the floor, maybe try one rising and balancing in the air. But you decide, make it your, your shape. But think of long extended lines through your body, no matter what you do. Good, Laura. Very nice. Annie, your leg is... Just insanely high, that's incredible. Wow. Lovely Daisy, good. When you're doing, you're doing your extended shape, remember you've got to come back out of it and come back to standing in your first position. So think of how you get into your shape and then think of how you get back ready to start your movement loop again. Shall we try that with, with, with some music, with, some, with, with Simon? Are we good? So we do our arm wing, look at the swimming pool, Hands of a clock, listen to your wing, feathers in the air, extended shape. Come back to standing and then repeat the whole thing and do your second extended shape and then come back to standing. Are we good? Got thumbs up from Jack so I can go ahead. Robert, are we good to go? You, you can give the cue for the music. Thumbs up from Robert. Yes, we have, fantastic. <laughs> Let's do that whole sequence. Don't copy my extended shape. That's mine. Do your own. All right. <laughs> Come up with your own shape. Don't follow mine. Here we go. Thank you, Simon. Brilliant. So one and uh, two and uh, three and uh... Okay, so remember the, the extended shape and remember the quality of the movement. And in fact, maybe you should think whether or not you're, you are Odette or Odile. If you're Odette, you can be a little bit more frightened. Or if, you, if you're Odile, you're a little bit more sort of menacing and strong and, and a little bit nasty. That might affect the way that you move. Let's try it one more time with Simon. Here we go. Really, really, guys. So one. Two and uh, three and uh, four and First extended shape. Get into your extended shape, whatever it is, and come back. Extended shapes, second extended shapes, whatever they are. Good, lovely, wow. Fantastic. Great. So what we need to do now is 
to put our, our movement loop from Swan Lake together, we have to do some wings in between. Okay, so we've learned our wing position and then bring them down. So it's like a flying. But we're going to do this to the music. So we're going to go slowing down, slow down. Two quick wings, quick down, quick down, one slow and down. So that's two slow, one quick, sorry, I'm really sorry, two slow, two quick, one slow. Two slow, two quick, one slow. Let's do it all together. Let's do it with Simon. So same tempo. Thank you, Simon. Brilliant. So one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and A slow and down. Second slow. Up and down. Two quick. Up down. Up one slow. Great. I think we've got that. Too slow, too quick, one slow. So this is how our ballet is going to go. We do our movement loop. We do it, our wings, swimming pool, hands of a clock, listen to your wing, feathers in the air, extended shape. Do the whole thing twice. And then we do our wings. Too slow, too quick, one slow. And then that's how far we've got. Shall I, um, do you want me to try and share my screen again? Is that, is that worth? I was just wondering if you just try and play it off your laptop. We've yeah. got it. We got it. We're running away. And between <laughs> Alison and I, I think we've got it. <laughs> These stars. <laughs> you hear that guys? Yes, we ah. got it. Wonderful. Right. So shall we go? So our introduction for this, so Simon, feel free to, to have a listen to it. We'll have it a few times and then do, do, do add some, some, some percussion if you like. The, the, the introduction is called a tremolo. It kind of goes, it's when the, the, the string, the violins, they kind of go and they're playing very quickly, just like that for about four counts. And then the music starts. So it goes, and then it goes straight into the wing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Called a tremolo. Should I play that bit? Let's so see. from from the beginning of that track, Alison, if, if that's possible, we'll just we'll just have a go. If you go back a just a tiny little bit more. I, think. I went to the beginning. Right. Okay. I'll press it now. I, I can't make it any louder for some reason. Let, okay. I'm going now. Sounds good. It's a tremolo. Good. To our wings, too, too slow, too quick, one sir. And if you wouldn't mind just pressing pause. Oh, that amazing music. I oh. think that when I speak, is the music cutting out? No, I don't think so. I think you're good. 
Oh, fantastic. Can you all hear the music without any breaks? Yeah. That's great. Brilliant. So you'll notice it's a little bit quicker than we, than we learned it, but that's what rehearsal's for. We've done it a few times, and now we're getting it that we know it better. And now, most importantly, we have to get it with the music, because the music is just as important in ballet as dancing. You have, the music tells the story just as much as the movement does. It works together. So should we try it together? So musically, we go, wings going up, looking into your reflection. This is a bit quicker. All the way over, listen and throw your feathers. And then we've got lots of time to find our extended shape and then come back and then repeat the whole thing. And then we've got even more time the second time to find extended shape. And then we find our shape before the wings. You've got a moment to just stay still and proud before we do our two slow, two quick, one slow wings. Shall we give it a go? Yeah? I think we should. Find your tall posture. Uh. Okay, have a second whenever you're ready. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alison. That's perfect. That was great. How did they look, Amy and Ella? Well, you were doing it, weren't you? Oh, you were swans. It. Oh, goosebumps. Oh, I, got yeah. oh, that, I got shivers too. I got shivers. It's so awesome being a swan, I tell you. Hi, <laughs> Ken. I I so I'm going to add a little bit of. Um, I'm going to put put my ballet master head sort of hat on now and say. When you do your swan wings, this is what, what's really important, is that you, that you need to breathe. You need to remember that you're, you're a bird, you're alive. You need to take, feel your lungs, breathe in, and breathe out. Oh, I really feel that your whole body is a swan moving, because it really makes the way that you tell the story even, even better and even more believable. Yes, Hannah, very, very nice. Um, and if you're gonna be really true to the Royal Ballet's production, what you need to do is you need to be brave. We've done it a few times now. When you get to your swan wings, as your arms go high, your eyes look up to the sky where you're flying. And as they come down, just your head, not your body, just your chin drops with your wings as they go down. So on the two slow, two quick, one slow, you go look up and look down. And then you can really feel your wings and your whole body is flying. Fantastic. Should we do it one more time with music? I think we should. Now, really yes, believe you're a swan. Then, then, then you'll tell me the story with your movement. Let's try it one more time with the music. From the same place, please, Alison. That would be great.
Wonderful. Thank you, Alison. Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Give yourselves a massive yeah, round of applause. Right. <laughs> brilliant. So we've, we've got two minutes left in our session. Have we got time just to run it one last time or should we just do a little bit of a cool down? One more time, Ella's I already gone straight so. in with a thumbs up. Definitely. Once more, then a cool down. <laughs> And would, would someone like to lead a cool down? Because I know that, that you do some pretty I awesome will. lead. I will, David. Amy, Ella, what, what's, what, what's your thought? Or, or shall I just do some, uh, or we could do a, a pot de bras, you could just follow I me, whatever. It would be great if you could take it, I think, okay. as, as you're here. As I'm, all right then. If, <laughs> well, we'll, we'll save your cool downs for another That'd time. Be gorgeous, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's, let's, let's go for our, for our swan leg. This is it, this is the performance. So get into the zone. Think you're a swan, think of your long, tall neck, think of the, the, your very powerful, fluid wings, the strong back, and they've got very strong backs, so that every time you move, extending, remember your, you practice the bar, remember your feet, you practice pointing them, don't forget to point them if you like here. Here we go, last time. Just, shall we just do a, a, a little cool down just just to bring you back into into your 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 spaces that um, sounds good yes simon please. simon if you're you're happy just just to play whatever you would yeah. whatever you would like it would be wonderful sure. that'd be great and um, and if everyone else if you want to just follow me we're just going to do some more portable we're going to use our arms we're going to use our bodies you can copy me and you can do it in it whatever way you like but think about try and keep that quality of the swan but in a calm way just to bring yourself down a bit cooler Okay. Thank you, Simon. Cool. Have we lost Simon now? We've we've shared. Oh, sorry. Us. Were you waiting for me? I was waiting. Yeah, for just you. fine. Yeah, just whenever, <laughs> whenever you're ready. Thank you for that. Okay. Cool. No worries. Sorry about that. So, uh, one, two, three, four. Thank you very much, Simon. 
Well, thank you so much for all your brilliant dancing. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, oh, I've, got, you. I've got a couple of minutes if anyone wants to, to ask any questions or chat. I know I'm going to have a chat with Annie, but I realise that you might need to, to speak go. I know I'm going, Daisy. Hang on one second, Owen. So just make sure you put your hand up so you might not have time to get through everyone. Um, but Annie, do you want to go first? Uh, hi, David. Hi. It's, lovely, it's lovely to see you. Oh, it's lovely um, to see you too. I really enjoyed what we did. Um, it, it was like the word. To, this is, thing is, it, when we did the swim pool bit, it sounded like a dove, because dove does do wait, like a dove. Yeah, that's um, a really lovely description. Because um, I've done this before at school. Um, I also, I call go after dance to Swan Lake for myself. I have. Um, I was the swan. Um, I was the queen swan before. Um, I was, and they lift me up. Um, oh, fantastic. So, so you... And also, so you that's a, that's a really lovely description. So you you said it made you feel like a dove because a, a dove is like yes. a, it's like a bird of peace, isn't it? So maybe it made you yes. feel quite peaceful as you moved. Yes. Lovely. Did anybody else? Did it? Make, how did it make anyone else feel? Who else had their hand up, Amy? I'm not sure who was oh. second in line. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, Alice, did you have your hand up? I saw your hand up quickly. Or have you have you put it back down? <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. <laughs> I've got a question. Just because Alice hasn't um, met you, David. So if no. your hand was up, Alice. It was, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Well, it really nice to meet you first time, actually, because I didn't know. Because on Mondays, I do ballet. And it's like really amazing seeing you, actually. But it oh. helps me a lot. Did you did you enjoy it, Alice? Yeah. What 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 did you enjoy? What how did it make you feel? What did you enjoy the most about it? It feels amazing. I just do it anywhere. Like that, but that's fine. what's amazing about about dancing. I'm sure you'll all agree because you're all brilliant dancers. Is that you don't need words with, with when you're dancing. They 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 tell the words. They tell the story by your movement. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, well, it's really lovely to meet you, Alison, and uh, we'll hopefully yeah. we'll, we'll meet again soon and do some more dancing together. Definitely. I've got a question before oh. I have to leave. Okay. So, we, um, maybe what is seven minutes past ten at the moment? How are you fixed with, maybe we should carry, what do you think, Alison? Because we could kind of carry on for a bit more yeah I'm, i i mean I, i'm more than happy with, there's nobody else coming in for the next class uh, that's waiting just I, a gal that is very prepared with her christmas hat already so yeah but <laughs> i'm yeah david if, if you if you're happy to stay and, and take a few more questions yeah absolutely i'd be very happy um what, what to do amy is fine with me I'll, I'll let amy manage the um i think that would be protocol. <laughs> <laughs> so Robert, can I come to you next? And then Hannah D, I'll come to you and then Daisy. So Robert, if you'd um, either like to sign or to get some help or turn your mute off. <laughs> can, can, can the host unmute? I think the host can unmute people individually. Yes. Hi. 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 Hey, Robert. I think, yeah, I think. Amy, you do ballet, and why do you come back to work himself? Yes, you please. Him. That you would be good. You David, can you come back weekly? David, David, <laughs> I would uh, love to. One question <laughs> for you. I miss you. Oh. And I think I want to look for a ballet book and teach myself. You mm -hmm. will help me. Find a book, a ballet book to help me a lot. You want me to help you find find a book to help you, or have you got one already? Not yet. I want to. Oh, you want to find a book? I will have a think because I I'll, I'll ask some of my friends which are the best books to learn ballet from because I I don't I haven't 
I haven't got any myself, but I, I, I know that they exist. So I'll ask some of my friends, which will be a good book for you, Robert. Yeah, pass I'll, it off from me. Yes, pass and then it. I'll... I'll leave her colour on road. All right. Okay. Well, I'll I'll I'll, I'll maybe chat by Alison yeah. and then maybe you know. Maybe if if David finds um or hears of a book that might be appropriate for you, maybe you me a lot. email myself or Alison, and then I can tell you in the new year. How does that sound? Perfect and me. Great. Great. Now, how are you? Brilliant. How are your partner? The lady partner. How's Laura? Okay. Oh, Laura, Laura's fine. Yes, she I'm is. Good, I, 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 will, I will send all of your best wishes to Laura because she, she'll her. be very, very, very her happy her. to hear that. I'll stick you for her. Oh, well, I'll, her. I'll be happy to send kisses too if you like, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. So, Hannah D, you yeah, are. Um, I'll make it quick because I have to, I really had to die. Okay, go for it. And um, thank you, Amy. Thank you for letting me, actually. Um, David, um, you know, um, uh, what to me is, is like flying without wings by wrestler to me. And um, uh, also, you know those, um, uh, you know those uh, reaching ones that yeah. we did? That, uh, that, that our own reaching thing? Well, to me, Magpie is my future. So I was not know this like, anyway, but I'm gonna ask you, um, 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 is it all right um, if, um, if, um, if, I, if I reach, no, I'm gonna reach for the, uh, the, the future Magpie, if that's all right, I'm just asking that. So your question is, you want, you want to, to, to do some more reaching in the future? Yeah, so it's like um, Magpie is my future. Yeah. So that's why I'm uh, so, so, so really I'm reaching now oh, for I the see. future Magpie. Oh, wow. fantastic. Really, um, Look at that dialogue in my mind. Future. That's why. Oh, that is a really so, amazing thing I, to say. I, I swear, I, I'm going to um, and, uh, make this sort of thing to myself. Yeah. So that because um, I just know that is 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 my is my future. That's why I so it's so it's really my story. It's um, based on future. That's yeah. why. That's Hannah. That is such a fantastic thing to think. I think every time you do an extending shape. You should think about about magpie and about how it's extending you into the future, and, and it will it will continue to do so. What a really brilliant thing to to to, to say! I love that. Absolutely, <laughs> Hannah D. If you need to go, then you're more than welcome to go. I've got to go, guys. So brilliant. Yeah, bye, bye, Joe. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, Joe. <laughs> So we'll just say goodbye to David. David, thank you so much for Pleasure. coming and guest teaching. And you're definitely more than welcome anytime. Um, oh. It's been really, really nice to have you. And thank you so much. Weird circumstances as well. It's a, a real uh, breath of fresh air. So it's been absolutely lovely to have you. Oh, well, it's lovely to see you all again. And thank you so much for your dancing. And, and, and yeah, let's fingers crossed sometime soon, maybe I can come back out and visit you again and watch. And, and do some do some more dancing together face to face without a, a screen oh, involved. But yeah. can I just say thank you for, for, for making it all happen and, and thank you to the dancers because as always you are the stars here. It was beautiful to watch you even on a screen with little little tiles. It was really lovely. So thank you for for making my day already feel so much better. And oh. um, hope to see you all soon. Brilliant. Thank you so much, David. Thank Take care, you. everybody. Keep Bye. Up. Bye. Bye.